Hello, Melrose. It's your mayor, Paul Broder. I have the sad duty to report that within our current uh, numbers, we have experienced our first death in Melrose. An elderly resident who had tested positive for COVID-19 has passed away. Uh, we have a total of 34 cases uh, at this time. Now, I, it's, it's horrible news, but I want folks to understand you don't need to feel helpless. There are still things that you can do to help yourself and our community and flatten that curve. You can continue to, if you have them, donate personal protective equipment to the hospital and to our first responders. And you can also continue to practice that physical distancing. That is the way you protect yourself and your loved ones and the entire community. Uh, on a much happier note, I wanna thank the Massachusetts chapter of the National Guard the governor, Governor Baker, called out the National Guard to support the effort against the pandemic. And yesterday in Melrose, they donated or delivered uh, some thermometers to the Melrose Fire Department. That doesn't sound like a big thing, but it is a huge thing in making sure that they are safe and that they are doing their part to bend the curve and that they can continue to serve as they've been doing throughout this crisis. I also want to let folks know that tomorrow, I'm going to have as a guest on the show, Paul Hammersley. Paul is a Malden resident. He's attached to the Malden Board of Health. But most importantly, he is the head of a group called Malden Overcoming Addiction. Uh, this is a tremendous, tremendous regional resource, resource for folks that are in recovery and folks seeking recovery. Paul will talk about the struggles of trying to cope with recovery during this challenging time where folks can't necessarily get together. I would urge you to watch it, and I'd urge you to check out his website at www.MaldenOvercomingAddiction.com. Finally, on Friday night, a great community activity. So many of you have reached out, checked in about ways to help, and you all weighed in on this, and we're going to get it done. This Friday at 7 o'clock, I want you all to participate in Clap Because We Care. There are so many people out there in our community that don't have a chance to work from home. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. The folks on the front lines, our first responders, medical providers, our DPW workers, emergency child care workers, grocery store workers. Really, the list is endless of the people that keep on keeping on and help us maintain some semblance of a normal life and help us get the things we need. So what does this mean? It's really simple. At 7 o'clock Friday, you open your window, you can go out on your porch, maybe even stand out front of the sidewalk, and you clap in thanks to those folks that are helping us get through this. You don't have to necessarily clap. You can yell. You can scream. You can wave a flag. If you have a soccer horn, fire that off. Any way that you can think of to show your appreciation and let your neighbors see that you're supporting them and supporting the community, it's a great thing to do, and it'll be a lot of fun. I hope you can join us, and thanks for watching.